Uh, my name is Mike Fox, mate. Um, can we speak outside really quick? Is that all right? Thank you. So I'm filming this for mine and your protection. Um, you're here to meet a 15 year old girl. Mm. The video that you have just seen is a 53 year old man who traveled two and a half hours to meet me. But not specifically me. He thought I was a 15 year old girl. This video is gonna be split into two parts. Part one will show the conversation between me and the man in question and a couple of clips of when we met. Part two will be an in-depth look into the entire confrontation. It will show when I met him, what I said to him, and when the police arrested him. Because of the sensitive nature of this video and the fact that the man was arrested only a couple of weeks ago, I cannot show his face or his name at this point. There will be a trial and a court case going on soon and I don't want a video to be out there affecting justice being made. Everyone has the right to be deemed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. With all of that being said, let's get into the video. So the conversation started on Tinder. It's a very simple conversation. He said, hi. I said, I don't use Tinder much. Do you have WhatsApp? He said, yeah, sure. He sent his phone number. That's where this conversation starts from. Hey, hi, how are you on this miserable cold day? More than sad. <laughs> Don't be like that. There's always something good around the corner. True. Can you send a selfie so like I know you're real? Okay, kiss kiss. So he sends this photo of himself. I'm one of you now when I will too. Okay, but I look rough. I haven't shaved long. <laughs> okay. I blurred out most of his face, but you can see from the picture that, you know, he is an old man. And um, oh, I wish I could show you everything that, I, that I've got. So he sends a selfie. Told you, I'm working from home. Ah, oh, what do you do for work? I'm a structural engineer, but I have an online antique slash vintage shop online. I mean, that's where most online shops are, mate. Online. Ah, nice. Keeps you busy. Where's your selfie? So I sent a photo back. The reason why this is blurred is obviously when a girl is willing to help me out on this, I don't want her to be exposed to the world. Also, this account is still in use. That is speaking to about four or five other different uh, at the moment and releasing an image of her would be detrimental to those cases. You in the shower? Not asking for any news. Bath, <laughs> where are you located? I'm in, ah, Cambridge. <laughs> just so you know, I'm 16 next month. Don't wanna let you on or anything thinking I'm older. It's just annoying because it's the only way I find older men. Oh, okay, no worries. Forget if you don't want a message. It's okay, good to chat, you sure? So the reason I do this is I give them the chance to have an out. I confront them with my age, which is 15, and then I say to him, look, I understand if you don't want to speak to me, this is your opportunity to stop speaking to a 15 year old. I don't want to entrap anyone. I don't want to pin anyone in a corner and make them feel like they're doing something that they wouldn't normally do. So giving him multiple opportunities here to back out of a conversation shows that it's entirely him. He's willing to do this. I've given him opportunities to leave and he carries on. I like Cambridge, been there a few times, but not for years. Have you not? Yes, as long as you are. Replying back to, obviously, are you sure? You should come up. <laughs> oh, I would love to. We'd love to take you out and spoil you. Could go for a nice restaurant or something. Yeah, there's some good ones here. I'm genuine, I promise. Just a restaurant, see how we get on. Is that all you want to do? Not really, if I'm honest, but don't want to push it on a first date. <laughs> I don't mind. You older than 16, just saying. See you next month. I'm working for the next couple of days. We could pop up later this week. We can meet in public so you're comfortable if you want it. Sure. What day should you actually free? I'd have to let you know Wednesday evening to make sure I finish my job. Ah, oh, okay. Honestly though, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't mind. Well, let's just go for a drink and a meal and take it from there. Oh, yeah, a drink with a 15 year old because that's legal as well, isn't it? I want to just chuck in a couple of extra little laws. Where to take it? Your Tinder account has gone. What's your name? It hasn't. It's Alice. That's it, thanks. So you can see a part of the chat there where I'm like, oh, thanks, do you have WhatsApp? And he goes, yes, and then he sends his number. Thanks. Kiss, kiss. Why did you split from your boyfriend? How long was your relationship? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Well, he cheated on me in six months. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. Okay, he wasn't good anyway. How old was he? 18. What would you like doing when you go out? I love going to a nice restaurant and bars and being a fool. Going to nice hotels for fun, if I'm honest. I mean, a 15-year-old really can't go anywhere. I, I like going to the park and playing tic-tac-toe with my friends actually. Ah, honestly I enjoy whatever. <laughs> you sound fun. I'm a bit shy at first to be honest but it doesn't take me long to get my hair down. <laughs> what hair? No, I was going to add that you cheeky cow. Ooh. Ooh, flirtation techniques are, are hitting me home. Whew. I may get on my knees mate. Cheeky cow. <sighs> me. Cheeky cow. <sighs> what a chap line. 
You're taking the piss already. <laughs> what do you do at the moment during your day? You still at school or are you bunking off? Oh, this week off is, is half term, which is when I was meeting him. So that gives you sort of the, the time, I guess, if we were meeting. So it was the Friday of the half term. What are you studying apart from men? I want to be a nurse or a masseuse. I love a proper massage, seriously. Oh, I find it so relaxing. Have you ever trained or done one? I'm training at the moment, like on the side. So many guys get excited though. I would nothing better before some fun. I find it a tease. <laughs> what sort of fun? You know, come on. I can give you a massage. I've been told I have big, strong hands. No, say. <laughs> say. I, I want to know what fun you like. Oh, I've been told I'm an expert at licking. It's my fave. Oh, my ex never did that to me. He thought it was boring. Oh, FFS, you're missing out, am I? 100%. You have to wait till your birthday, love. Oh, why? I'll have you shaking. You know why. Oh, pfft. It can be your birthday present. The waiting will get you all wet. Are there any nice hotels up your way? The waiting will make me find someone else. <laughs> and yeah, loads. Okay, we go straight to the hotel. When? <laughs> the notes of the conversation change from, oh, we've got to wait till you're 16, which is, you know, next month, to have you got any hotels? Yeah, there's a few. Okay, I'm taking you straight there on Friday. Bit of a, a bit of a change, isn't it? I message you Wednesday evening if that's okay. You know roughly when? Oh, around late afternoon-ish. No silly, roughly when you're free. Call me silly FFS. End of week, 100% this week? Yes, definitely, won't let you down. Good, go back to school next week. No problem, we'll definitely message you. We'll have fun. Have you been with older guys? So a little bit of conversation went by, I was saying no and a few other questions were asked. Have you ever been with younger girls? If I'm honest, I have a sugar baby, but the relationship is coming to an end. I've been seeing her for four years. She's in her twenties. Ah, oh, how does a sugar baby work? I've seen lots of girls in their late teens. So he sends a picture of his sugar baby and for obvious reasons, I'm gonna have to blur her face because she's not involved in this at all. And I'm not actually sure how old she is. Uh, the police, I guess, are gonna be looking into that. So I've been offered before. First night out, ended up with us in a hotel bathroom. Lol. <laughs> well, at least it's clothed. She wasn't for long. Oh, damn. I pay her weekly. We meet up for fun all the time. How much? That's a secret. Damn. Am I the youngest? I will look after you if we click. <laughs> yes, Alice. By a long way. This is my ex sugar baby I went out with. Her for five years. Still best friends. We went to LA, New York three times. This was us in Budapest last year. Lovely girl. So if you can't see what he's doing here, obviously, he's sort of building up this ideology of what he can give me you know i'm a 15 year old girl and he's like well, i've taken sugar babies across the world i've taken them to america new york budapest los angeles i've taken her around the world and i pay her money and you know they love it it's amazing but he's saying that to a 15 year old he's almost insinuating that he'll be taking me to these places if i meet him He'll be paying me money, he'll be taking me on holidays and all I've got to do is, is sleep with him. Like, it's such a creepy, deluded viewpoint. Are you okay with it? Like my age, and I was just pretty. Prefer blondes. I suppose so. Don't want no comebacks. What's a comeback? Your age. Aha, you won't. Who could I tell? Okay, no idea. It turns out about 1.3 million people on YouTube, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, I should have been a bit more careful there, mate. Shouldn't you? What are you doing? I don't understand the C. I meant X. I'm older than you, lol. It's like a kiss. Oh, okay. I've got to do some paperwork now. I'll speak soon, definitely. Oh, where are you going? I have to message later. I've got to leave at 5.30 tomorrow in the morning. I often can't sleep, so you can message me, you naughty girl. Go to chat, Alice. Uh -huh. Oh, make sure you message me. I will do 100%. I keep my word. Thumbs up. Okay, Alice, just leaving for work. We'll chat this afternoon when I'm finished. Okay, hope you have a good day. So some conversation goes by, we're just talking about like antiques and it's very boring to listen to, so we'll start from here. I'm sure I've got loads of useless rubbish in the house, it's worth a lot. I could sell you if you're no good. Sell me? Sir, <laughs> I am not for sale. Sell a 15 year old. <sighs> sure mate. Fucking hell. Not yet. Get a couple of quid for you, I'm sure. I could probably come over Friday if you wanted. Can you let me know tomorrow, Alice? It would be lovely seeing you. Friday is good. Do you know what sort of time? It's up to you. Late morning. It's about a one and a half hour drive for me to Cambridge, looking at Google. That's fine. I've got a free all day and night. Can't do a night this week, but day and evening are good. Can probably do an all nighter next week if you wanted. You can see how Friday goes. Yeah, exactly. If you're a good girl or bad, even better. What do you want to do? It's up to you, hun. No pressure. I'm pretty open-minded for my age. 15. Sounds good already. You let me know what you want to do and I'll see if it works for me. Go for a drink or restaurant, hotel for some fun. Daytime hotel? Yeah, this week. What should I wear? Nothing. 
Well, I have to wear something. Black leggings, sexy lingerie, or we can just go shopping for some. I'll, I'll go town summers. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I don't know Cambridge, so you have to show me around if we're meeting there. Yeah, that's fine. I know good spots. Can't wait to meet. <laughs> why? I don't know what all this YPX means, lol. So now I'm trying to explain to him what this uh, emoji is, you know? Because it's so... I don't know why people say that. I don't know why I put three Y's. Laughing face. Why can't you wait? I'm getting horny. You're naughty. Oh, uh, <laughs> poor you. I'm not naughty. You're the one that said I need to wear sexy lingerie. It does it for me. Yeah, no, just picturing a 15 year old and, you know, Anne Summers uh, merchandise is enough to arouse you. Um, amazing. <laughs> At least you're not going to leave me stranded Friday. No, hun, of course not. Come on. Sounding like Biden. <laughs> you get it, you get it. I hope you have Photoshop photos or you're getting a spanking. My photos are not photoshopped. Joking. If I photoshopped, I'll give myself boobs. Will you let me know tomorrow if you can make it? We'll definitely let you know in the afternoon. Promise? So again, a lot more conversation goes by, just, you know, him flirting with me and me replying. It's a bit repetitive after a while. So the next day, I wake up and I say, good morning, can I have a selfie? He sends a selfie back. I hate selfies. Where's my one back? <laughs> I'll send you one in a bit when I wake up. I want to see what you look like when you've just woken up. Never. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Can't be that scary. I don't have my makeup on. <laughs> and I'm not changed. Woo! What's woo? <laughs> not changed. Come on, selfie in your PJs. I don't wear PJs. What do you wear? It depends if it's hot or cold. Laughing faces. What about you? Boxes. Unless it's boiling. What's the unless? Birthday suit. Ooh. <laughs> Got to work now. Speak later. Okay. How's work? The M25 on the way home. M25, like a road. Yeah, Circles London. Okay, still waiting for your selfie. You must be dressed now, you lazy cow. Oh, there it is again, that, that chat up line. Honestly, if I was a girl, yeah, set the scene. Mike Fox, 15 year old girl. And a boy messaged me saying, oh, you moody cow. Oh, it would get my juices flowing. It would, beautiful that. So I'll send him a video. Oh, wow, a video, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean it. Where's my video? What have you been up to today? A video of me tomorrow, lol. Oh, why? And just chilling. Really, lockdown is boring. Is Cambridge in lockdown? No, tier one. Just the rule of six. Oh, that's good. I'm in tier two, I believe. So then some conversation goes by about how he was talking to Boris Johnson on the phone and Boris Johnson gave him the, the go-ahead to meet me in a hotel room. Just, just really weird chat lines in. Anyway, so he's asking where we can meet in Cambridge. Oh, the place near me is called Parker's Peace. It's like a big field in Cambridge. Or we can meet somewhere more private. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind meeting wherever you feel comfortable. Oh, I don't mind doing this. I'm just thinking parking isn't great. You'd have to park in the shopping centre that's three minute walk away. Okay, what's the POCO for the shopping centre? Okay, we'll Google it. Do you want to meet at the shopping centre? Yeah, can do if you want. Yeah, that's cool. I've got a little Audi TT if you swapped me before. What time are you thinking? I got a one and a half hour drive. It turns out that it was actually two and a half hours on the day because of traffic. Probably easy for me in the top floor or something can go over it in the day because I'll forget. Maybe 12, one, go for lunch first. Say 11.30. 11.30 could work. What do you want to do after lunch? Love heart emoji. What does that mean? Whatever you want, no pressure. I've told you before, I like a guy that knows what he wants. I want to go to a hotel and have some fun with you. What fun? Don't tease. No, tell me. Come on, come on where? Come on in, spell, you know, C-U-M. Do you understand how it works? Like, you're the man. I'm not, well, I am, but you don't know that yet. So, mm, stop this, I'm getting randy, randy. I have not heard that, I've never heard that as a term other than my grandma. My grandma never said that. I'm just making a joke about, it. my grandma has never talked to me about her randiness. Let me get this clear. I'm trying to make a joke, it came out wrong. It's an old, it's an old person saying randy. Um, yeah, moving on. <laughs> I want to know what fun you mean though. I need to prepare myself. Bed fun, FFS. As in, you look lovely, you don't need to prepare. I need to know if I need to shave my legs or not. Yes, you will do, and the rest. But why would they shave there, eh? I wonder. You're crazy. I won't unless I'm giving a reason. He says again, I want to lick your p I'm an expert, trust me. You'll go home with a smile. An expert, trust me. I mean, that's high hopes. Have you been to Summer yet? Are we going Friday? We'd love to see you with some hold ups. What the is a hold up. It's in the Grand Arcade too. I can go there tomorrow if you want, or together Friday. So then he calls me an idiot and says, hold ups are clearly stockings. I've never worn stockings. You're joking. You look amazing. I can dress you up. Show me what in. We'll do Friday. What are you gonna wear? Manfong, only joking. I can take you clothes shopping in the center. 
and you can treat yourself to have a budget. But really, but be sensible. Conversation goes by about discussing which hotels um, are best and which ones are nearby, because uh, he's booking one. So I said, oh, well, there's one near the Grand Arcade. I can find it. Oh, okay. So he sends a link to a different hotel room so he couldn't find it. It's a different one, but no problem. Probably an easy drive. Let me know when you book it. I can book tonight if you're serious. If you think that'd be cheaper. Okay, I'll book now, hun. Okay, I will show you confirmation. Give me two minutes. I'm getting butterflies. Then he sends a confirmation code. Obviously, I've had to blur his address, the hotel's address, the name of the hotel, his phone number, etc., etc., because that was stupid to leak. Uh, but you can see the day that he's booked it for, which is Friday the 30th towards Saturday the 31st. He's booked a hotel room. Booked. Booked. Confirmation code sent to me that I've sent to the police, which they've checked out, which matches him. He booked a hotel room to lick my mm, and have bed fun with me. I wonder what bed fun is. I'll let you be the judge. I'll give you £150 clothes shopping. Don't let me down. I want this to be a regular thing if we click. Don't mind clothes shopping. We might hate each other. Lol. I don't think we'll hate each other. £150 each time we meet. Oh. No, don't get carried away. I'm not tight, but it's a present. Damn. <laughs> I would treat you well. Good boy. Who are you talking good boy? I'm old enough to be daddy. Come princess. One more sleep to go. Hey, I know, so soon. Where are you? At home, it's pissing down here. <laughs> really? No, it's so nice and sunny. Ah, it's spitting here at the moment. It's chucking it down here. Ah, don't like getting wet? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't mind the rain. How do you like getting wet? Don't like getting wet, just enjoy the noise. Yes, you're definitely crazy. I'm actually pretty sane. We'll be the judge of that tomorrow. It's been crazy good. I think it helps. Ah, that's good. What do you do for work other than eBay? I have a specialist structural repair business, then he sends a link to it. The rest of the conversation this day is bland. And then obviously the next day is the day we're meeting. That would all be in a separate video. If you guys want to see part two of this video of me confronting this 53 year old man, drop a like on this video. If this video reaches 20,000 likes, I will upload the video within a week. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and stay notified for when part two does come out. Comment down below. Comment down below what you think he does when I do confront him. Is he erratic? Is he calm? What do you think? Comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Peace.